Dallas Cowboy fans have grown accustomed to the feats of number 32, whose pro football career has spanned nine years. Walt's been bulldogged a few times on the football field, but this time it was a steer which sent him to the ground at a rodeo in Bozeman, Montana. In his room at Baylor Hospital, Walt was philosophical about his injury, the first he's ever received in a rodeo. I've never really thought about being injured, you know, rodeoing, because I've never been injured rodeoing, and, and I've done it for so many years, you know, but uh, uh, I don't know, I guess it's just something like a football injury, it just, it's things that happen and you have to learn to live with it, and, and uh, uh, hopefully I won't be out uh, very long with this, you know, in fact, uh, I talked to Coach Lander, you know, about... Uh, uh, when I could rejoin the team and stuff, so uh, maybe uh, pretty soon, you know, I'll get this cast off and uh, be back at it again. Did Tom say, uh, I told you so? No, uh, he didn't because, uh, I, I mean, I don't know why he didn't. He, he probably <laughs> had the right to say it if he wanted to, but uh, uh, he's known about me rodeoing and I hadn't tried to hide it or anything, and he knows how much I enjoy it and, and like it and, and uh, rodeo's a contact sport just like football is and injuries are something that a steady stream of friends, including teammate Cliff Harris, has dropped by to cheer him up. The Cowboys are hopeful that Walt will be recovered in time for the season opener in September. They also wish he'd quit rodeoing, but that's something Walt Garrison will be doing long after he scored his last touchdown. Ray Gaskin, Channel 8 Sports.